Good morning, Primary 5. I am Mrs. Ola, your math teacher. Welcome back after your winter break. Today, we will start the first lesson in your second term, the set of natural number. Okay? Now, if I want to count the number of students inside the class, I will start counting by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. This set of number called the set of counting number, the number which used to count like one, two, three, and so on. And the set donated by the letter C, okay? Where C is a set of one, two, three, four, and so on. But what if I have an empty class, a class without any student? How can we express the number of students inside the class? Excellent, you will say there is no student inside the class, or the number of students inside the class is zero. So now, if the zero enters the set of counting number, you will have a new set, a set which contains zero to express nothing. This set is called the set of natural number, and it's donated by the letter N, natural number N, where N is a set of zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, so I have two sets now, set of counting number and the set of natural number. Do you think there is any relation between the set of counting number and the set of natural number? Actually, yes. Counting number is subset from the set of natural number. Okay. Also, as you know, that the set of counting number and the set of natural number also is infinite set. It has no end. Okay. Now, let's see the relation between the set of counting number and the set of natural number. First of all, counting number or natural number is a set of whole number without any fraction or decimal. You can say that you have element like 3.5. Actually, it doesn't belong to this set. Okay, so it will be the set of whole number without any fraction or decimal. Also, set N is a set of counting number union zero. All the elements inside the counting number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, union the set of zero. Natural number different. The set of zero will give you the counting number. If you cancel zero from the set of na natural number, it will give you one, two, three, and so on, which is called the set of counting number. Also, counting number subset from natural number. Zero is the smallest natural number. If you want to use the smallest number from the natural set, it will be zero. And one is the smallest count number. I can't start a count from zero. I always count from one. So one is the smallest counting number. Each of counting number and natural number are infinite set. It has no end. Okay, now let's see the first exercise. Complete using belong, doesn't belong, subset, and not subset. Number A, 1.3 and set of N. 1.3 element I will use belong and or doesn't belong. Actually, inside the set of natural number, I have no decimal or fraction. So 1.3 doesn't belong to the set of natural number. 14 and set of n. 14 is whole number. It's inside set of n. So it will be belong. 10 over 5 and n. 10 over 5 is fraction? Yes, it's a fraction. But what is the answer of 10 over 5? It will give you 2. 10 divided 5 equals 2. 2 now is whole number. So 2 belongs to the set of natural number. 1 over 3 and natural number. 1 over 3 is fraction also. But what is the answer now? It's 1 over 3. It's in, in, it's in simplest form. So it's a fraction doesn't belong to the set of natural number. The set of counting number and n. Now, counting number is set. I will use subset or not subset. So, counting number subset from the set of n. Zero and n. Zero inside the set of natural number? Yes. Zero here is an element. So, I say zero belong to set of natural number. Number G, the set of zero and n. Zero now between braces. It's a set of zero. I will use subset or not subset. Actually, zero inside the set of natural number. So, set of zero subset from n. Phi and n. 
as we said before phi is subset from any set. So, phi is subset from the set of natural number 0 and counting number. 0 does not belong to set of counting number, counting number starting from 1 and 0 does not belong to the set of natural number, counting number. Now, set of 3 and set of 0 0.5 and the set of 3 and 3.5. 3, 3 is belong to set of natural number, but, but 3.5 does not belong to set of natural number. Now, the set of 3 and 3.5 not subset from the natural number. Okay. Now, you will study some subset from the set of natural number, which is the set of even number, the set of odd number, and the set of prime number. Okay. What meant by the set of even number? As we studied the, set, the even number before, it is the set of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. You can know any even number by its unit digit. If its unit digit 0, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, so this number is even. All the even number is subset from the set of natural number. Okay. Second set, set of odd number. Can we, how it is a, it's a set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Okay. It's donated by the letter O, where O is a set of 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. Also, the set of prime number, it's donated by the letter B. Do you know the prime number? It is a number which has only two factors, 1 and the number itself, like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Also, the set of prime number is subset from n. Okay. Now, let's see. O and the set of natural number. All the odd number or set of odd number subset from n. Also, E and the set of natural number. All the even number is um, uh, subset from n also. B also subset from the set of natural number. Now, O intersecting E, the set of odd number intersecting the set of even number. Do you find any common element between the set of odd number and the set of even number? Actually, no. So, the set of odd number intersecting the set of even number it will be phi. But O union the set of even number. If I have all the odd number and also all the even number, it will give you the set of natural number. Okay? We can't say it's a set of counting number. We have zero in the set of even number. So it will give you the set of natural number. Now, B intersecting even number. What is the common element between the set of prime number and the set of even number? Okay, as you know, prime all the prime number are odd except two. So, the only common element between the prime number and the even number is 2. So, B intersecting the even number will give you the set of 2. Okay. Now, N intersecting even number. What is the common element between the natural set number and the even number? Okay. Actually, all the even number is part from the natural number. So, the natural number intersecting the even number will give you the set of even number. Okay. Also, natural number intersecting the odd number will give you all the set of odd number. B intersecting the natural number also will give you the set of prime number. We can say that when even number, odd number and prime number are subset from N, as we said before, when you have two sets subset from each other, intersecting always give you the small set and union give you the, the bigger one. So, natural number, union, even number will give you n, the, the set of natural number. Okay. Now, complete the following. Number one, natural number intersecting prime number. Okay. Now, we have where is the common element now? It is a set of prime number B. Natural number difference the even number. If you have the natural number and we cancel all the set of even number from it, 
it will give you the set of odd number. B intersecting E, the set of prime number intersecting the even number, you have only two inside this set. So the answer will be the set of two. Okay. Now, so when I say I have two sets subset from each other, always union give you the small one where the intersecting, intersecting give you the small one and union will give you the bigger one. Now, natural number union the odd number. Union will give you the bigger set. It's the set of n. Even number, difference, odd number. Okay, which element found in the even number but not found in the odd number? Actually, all the number which found in the even number, even set, not found inside the odd one. So the answer will be the set of even number. B, difference n, there is no element inside the set of prime number not found inside n. So the answer will be phi. B, difference odd number. As we said, all the prime number are odd except two. So th the answer will be the set of two. Natural number union, the set of counting number, it will give you the set of counting number. Okay. Now this exercise is from your school book, page three. Okay. Exercise number one: complete using belong doesn't belong subset or not subset. 2 over 3, 2, sorry, 2 and the set of n, 2 and the set of n, okay, 2 is an element, so it belongs to the set of n, set of 2 and n, set of 2 here is an set, so I will use subset, so set of 2 is subset from n, 3 over 4 and n, 3 over 4 here is a fraction, fraction in its simplest form, so it doesn't belong to the set of n. 0 0.7 and n. 0 0.7 here is an element, so it also doesn't belong to the set of n. The set of 55 and n, okay, here 55 is a whole number, so it will be subset from n. The set of 2, 4, and 6 and n, also all this number inside the set of n, so it will be subset from n. The set of 1 and 3 intersecting the set of 2 and 4. The intersecting between these two sets will give you phi. There is no common element. And phi is subset from any set. 0 and the set of n. 0 here is an element, so 0 belongs to the set of n. Okay, number 2. Complete. The smallest natural number is, what is the smallest num natural number? 0. But the smallest counting number is 1. Now, what is the set of natural number less than 5? Okay, what is the number you know less than 5? But natural number, you must start from 0. So the answer will be the, the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Natural number intersecting counting number, n intersecting c. It will give you c. Okay, now, true or false? 7.2 belongs to set of n. Is this right? Actually, no. Inside the set of n, you have no decimal or fraction. So, it doesn't belong. Set of 0, subset from n. It's true. 0 inside the set of n, so it's subset from the set of n. The set of 0, union, the set of 1, 2, 3, will give you n. Right? True or false? It's false. Why? 0, 1, 2, 3, not all the elements inside the set of n. We have another element. So, we must here put dots to say it's an infinite set. The set of 0, 1, 2, union, sorry, intersecting the set of 0, 5, and 10. Okay, the intersecting between these two sets will give you 0, not 5. So, it's false. The greatest natural number is Mildred. Is this right? No. Natural number has no end. Why Mildred? You have 10 million, 100 million, and so on. Number has no end. So the greatest natural number can't be Mildred. The set of natural number is infinite set. That's right. 
okay now this exercise is from your school book page five R right true or false the weight of anything in kilogram belong to n is this right actually no what if you buy 3.5 kilogram okay of anything of orange what you uh, you buy um, 2.5 kilogram of, um, of, from banana okay so in kilogram you have fraction so it's false your cell phone number belong to n actually yes your phone your cell phone number has no fraction or decimal it's a number whole number so it's belong to n number of pages of a book belong to n that's right also the number of pages inside your book is a whole number the smallest prime number is one no it's false the smallest prime number is two now complete the set of natural number different the set of even number n difference e okay it will give you the set of odd number the set of even number intersecting the set of odd number there is no common element between the even number and the odd number so the answer will be five the set of even number intersecting the set of zero one and two okay what is the even number inside this set it's zero and two so the answer will be the set of zero and two zero and two intersecting the set of prime number okay what is the prime number inside this set only two zero is not a prime number so the answer will be the set of two okay use the Venn diagram to express the set of the set of natural number the set of even number and the set of odd number okay the bigger set here will be the set of natural number okay we can divide the set into subset the set of even number and the set of odd number like you see here in picture okay thank you for your time i hope you interested this lesson. Thank you.